So the next thing we're going to talk about is uh, this fallacy about uh, conservation of matter. Um, I know it's one of the foundations of, uh, of chemistry, but when you talk about nuclear physics, there is no such thing as conservation of matter. And the proof comes from um, the formation or the definition of an atomic mass unit. Now, I said previously that carbon-12, they said that with carbon-12, which is six protons and six neutrons, there was exactly 12 atomic mass units, atomic unified mass units. Uh, yeah, unified mass units. Okay. Well, if you were watching closely that video, I gave the mass values for both protons and neutrons. So here's the mass value for protons, here's the mass value for neutrons. Carbon-12 turned out to be six protons, six neutrons, and equal to a total of 12 atomic mass units. Now, that's not 12 sort of atomic mass units. It's not a significant figure here. It's not just two sig figs. It's exactly 12 atomic mass units. So this idea that protons and neutrons have these these trailing values are not being eliminated simply because of rounding errors. These are supposed to be accounted for in this 12 atomic mass units. So that means that one neutron plus one proton does not equal two. Okay? It doesn't work that way. The truth of the matter is, is one neutron plus one proton should equal two point what zero one five. Okay, that seems to be the truth. Makes sense to me if I look at the values of these two and see protons and neutrons. If I added them together, I should end up with this number plus some other trailing numbers after that. And instead, I'm getting this number when I'm considering atomic mass units. So what's happening here? What's happening with these numbers here? What are they just they're not simply being rounded off. Well, when you bond particles together, when you bond neutrons to protons, there's no there's no electrostatic attraction between them. A neutron is a is a is a stable particle. It doesn't have a fundamental charge. Or a proton has that fundamental positive charge. They don't really have a desire of bonding together much like an electron and a proton does. Okay, so what ends up happening when these two particles approach each other and want to bond, this mass value and this mass value disappear. Those those that number disappears and is converted entirely into energy. So you can see that they're very, very small numbers. But those very small numbers are now bonds between the proton and the neutron. That mass is disappearing, turning into a potential energy bond, making a strong bond between the protons and the neutrons. Okay? So when we talk about a nuclear reaction, that energy is being released. Okay? You, you're dumping energy in to break those bonds up, and, that, and there's a portion of that energy that's being released to the system. So, or, or in the case of radioactive decay, you have a bond between a proton and a neutron that isn't very stable, and that neutron readjusts itself so it makes a better bond. As it's doing that, it's losing, it's giving out energy. Okay, so that's that's this whole idea that this there's there's conservation of mass in the universe. It's nothing but a joke. Um, there is no such thing as conservation of mass. You can say that there's conservations of protons and neutrons, but that's not even true when we talk about nuclear physics and types of decay. That you can have particles transforming into other particles. But um, just remember that that this number right here is not is not a rounded it's not a rounded value off these twelve atomic mass units. It's 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 there. That mass value is there, but when I put those particles on a scale, which I'm obviously not doing, it's coming out to be exactly 12. So these numbers are disappearing. They're turning into energy that bonds particles together. So in order to break them, I need to pump energy into the system to break those bonds. Okay? So conservation of matter, forget about it. It doesn't hold true when we talk about nuclear physics. It may be great for chemistry, but not for this class.